Hi everyone and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we have a STEM activity for all of our basketball fans. We're going to be building a basketball game. We're calling this game Shooting Hoops. So first we're going to gather up our supplies. A full list is available on the website and we cut out all of our pieces from recycled cardboard. And we have all those measurements available at steampoweredfamily.com and the link will be in the description. We're going to build the bottom of the box first. So we've got the base and the four sides and we're just gluing those into place. We're using a glue gun so make sure that your children know how to use it safely so they don't end up burning their fingers. Now we're going to put together the top. The first thing we need to do is take our templates which again are available on in the link that's in the description and we need to mark the hole where our basketball hoop is going to end up mounted in a little bit. We also need to mark a hole where the uh, basketball string will be attached. So now we've made those holes, we're going to make them a little bit bigger. We're just using a piece of dowel there. And now we're going to thread our string through and we've got a knot at one end of the string just to help hold it in place. And then we're going to use a little bit of um, the glue gun again just to help secure it. And now we're using a drill bit. Um, you could use a chopstick or something else. We're just gonna make this other hole a little bigger. This is actually the hole that our basketball hoop is going to be mounted into. And now we're adding a bit of sand just to weight the bottom of the box so it doesn't move when we're making our shots. And we're gonna use the glue gun again to attach the top. And there we go, we've got the base of our game completed. Now we're going to make the back of our basketball hoop. We've got four pieces here that we've cut out, including a channel in the middle of two of the squares, and we're going to glue them and stack them. There we go. Now we're going to build the wedge. So this stem build works on the same principles as a catapult. So we need a wedge at the end of our game board for launching our basketballs from. So we're building our wedge just from pieces of cardboard again. And again, all of these measurements for cutting out your cardboard to make it exactly right and get all that physics and math perfect are available at steampoweredfamily.com. There we go, our wedge is completed. Now we're gonna use a little bit of um, paper tape. You can also use scotch tape just to finish off the edges. This helps to make it a little cleaner looking for your final product. And then we went ahead and painted ours blue. Now we're gonna start putting together our basketball hoop. So we've got a bottle cap. This is going on the bottom where the basketball hoop is gonna to attach to the base of the game. We're using a soldering iron to make a hole in our cap. You could also use a drill bit and make a little hole in there. You want it just big enough to hold your dowel so it keeps it really secure. Now we've got this ring, the ring we made by cutting up a toilet roll or a paper towel roll and then just painted it black. And we're gonna glue that in place. And that becomes our basketball net and the backboard there. And now we're gonna attach the dowel And if you want to head over to our website, you can get all the science and physics behind basketball to share with your kids as well while building this game. And we're going to add that cap onto the bottom of the basketball hoop and we're going to glue it all into place. And I'm not sure if you have basketball fans like we have in our household, but my son in particular is a huge basketball fan and thinks this game is just the greatest thing ever. One of the greatest STEM projects he thinks we've ever done. So now we're gonna glue the bottom of the hoop in place like you see there. And now we're gonna attach our wedge. So we wanna make sure that it's perfectly centered and about a centimeter in from the end. And we wanna make sure we've got that perfectly centered as well on our wedge and we're gonna glue it into place. There we go, now we're using a spoon. You could use uh, jumbo craft sticks if you wanted. We're gonna measure in about four centimeters and use some glue to attach it in place there. We found the spoon worked the best because it held the ball really well and was great for launching. 
Now this is optional. We just cut out some uh, little black circles so it looked like our spoon had been riveted down. We thought it looked more finished and made for a really cool effect. Now we've got our ball. It's just a polystyrene ball that we painted to make it look like a basketball. And we're gonna use a needle to make a hole through the middle. This is easier if you do it just before you paint. And then we're gonna run the string through the ball. Make a little knot at the end there, put it in place, and then use a bit of glue to make sure it's really nicely secured to the ball. We don't want our ball falling off the string during our play. And you want to be careful when using the glue gun with the ball because the polystyrene balls will melt if you hold the glue gun on there too long. Now with our printable templates that are available for free from the site, we've got some decorative features you can add including the court paintings and a little logo you can stick on the side. So we're just using a glue stick and we're going to put all of those in place. And there's our court. There we go. Perfect. And we're ready for our first shot. Look at that. Three pointer. So this is a STEM basketball project that we had a lot of fun building and it's even more fun to play with your kids. You can get all the directions at steampoweredfamily.com for this and many other STEM activities. Have a great day.